Hello there friends. Welcome back to Boots and Bunny Homestead. I'm doing a new project that I wanted to share with you guys. I, I don't really know that I've seen anybody that I've noticed on YouTube doing it. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you. So let's get the supplies and head to the garden. Would y'all like to say hi to the puppies? Say hello puppies. Hello puppies and Mama Bobo. Hello. Ain't they pretty? They gotten so big. They gotten so big. Pretty girls. They've been roaming all day today, so they are tired. They're back on their tie outs. Take them a nap. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the garden. Hmm. Let's see. All right, I just need a little test spot here. So this is kind of over here. Um, the berry patch is right beside us. So our little test patch is gonna be right here. Little, I guess it's about six foot long. So what we're doing is I've actually taken some water bottles and cut the end out of them and left the tops on them. And we're gonna use these like little mini greenhouses. So instead of starting all my seeds inside, I'm gonna start some outside. My, um, I'm gonna do three, um, three bottles of broccoli and two bottles of cabbage. And I'm gonna do like two or three seeds in each little greenhouse. And then as they get bigger, then um, I can come out here and split them up if they do good. Um, we've got about a month left be officially before springtime. Um, and our winters are not that harsh. Um, I have decided to put them in it, this bed because the back half of my garden is a lot more shady. So I've got like half shade on the back side so it stays colder back there and then this is in the sun. And if it's gonna be like today and it's gonna be close to 70, I may have to come out here and actually take the tops off after they get big and um, so they don't burn up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick um, I've got five bottles here and we're going to do three broccoli and three cabbage. So first off I need to do a little, little weeding. I didn't completely cover these beds up in the uh, winter time just because I didn't have the help and enough time to get out here and do it. Um, so just going to do a little bit now. Get them while they're young. They're very fresh on top too. You can see it, the top layer is really um, dusty, but we're fixing to get rain in two more days. So, all right, I'm just gonna kinda break this up. I mean, the soil is really good and black. Um, just gonna kinda loosen it up some. All right, let's do our Let's do our broccoli. I should have enough here to do our broccoli. And I'm gonna go ahead and separate it out as if I were planting them. So I'm gonna put them about a foot apart. And then I'll have enough room down there to do two more cabbage. So right here is one, right here is one, and then right here will be one. Okay, so this one is a Sun King hybrid. I usually plant this every year. Um, it's just, I have these seeds, and this year I'm using up the seeds I got. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna put like uh, two, maybe three, and I'm gonna spread them out just a little bit so they're not exactly on top of each other. One, two, and three. And then one, two, and three. Okay. So I'm gonna save the rest of these because I'm gonna do a different method with some of these. I'm gonna see which one works best. Okay, so I've got three and all we're gonna do is I'm gonna kinda like encapsulate the seeds 
and as I do that it's actually covering them up okay I'm gonna put some dirt up around here so maybe it won't blow away all right there's one and then And if y'all know of anybody that's done this before, um, let me know or put the link down below or send it to me um, so I can go watch and see what happened to theirs. So, now we're going to the cabbage. We'll do... It's a quick till job. All right, we're going to do one here and one there. One bottle, that is. Um, this is Copenhagen Market Early. I think this is like 50 day, 66. All right, and again, I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put three in here, kind of space them out about an inch. All right, and now this is gonna go right around it. That's not covering it up, let's cover them up first. around it just to kind of hold that and then we'll cover these up all right now if we have to um, water them if I want to give them a little drink or whatever I can always just take the tops off and just um, you know, just sprinkle a little water down in them or something like that. But like I said, it's going to rain here in just a few days. And the moisture from around the, the um, bottle is actually going to keep the ground moist enough for them. Um, because they are, they're not as deep as they look in the bottle. They are right on top of the ground. And so the bottle is actually going probably just a half inch around them. Um, so it'll keep them moist it'll keep the ground moist around them um but like i said i'll come out here and look at them every so often every couple of days and just make sure that they are staying wet now if you want to uh, you can go ahead and get a squirt bottle or just a little bit of water and moisten these but the uh, soil that i planted them in it's actually still pretty moist from the last rain we had on saturday and today's tuesday um, so it's really just the the top compost that's just kind of dried out which it does um, unless you mulch so anyways we're gonna follow this adventure and I will let you know how they turn out I will let you know as soon as I start seeing them come up or sprout or germinate um, I'll bring you guys back out here so you can see them and if they die they just die and you won't ever see it again so <laughs> anyways so now this is experiment one is the water bottle greenhouses